Vincent G, you won the giveaway from last week. Comic Fam, download key collector comics, the best comic app in existence. And if you use the code Tom101, you are going to try out for free a full version of the app. It's going to unlock categories that are going to save you time and money. I'm talking about hot keys, dollar bin diving, the spec deck. Support what we do and enjoy your hot comics list. Holy smokes, comic fam, we got major record breakers. Some of the biggest record breakers that I have seen since I took on the responsibility of comic book coverage for the best community in the world. Hit the subscribe button and let's jump into it at number 10 with Batman number one. Before we even talk about the monumental record-breaking sale on Batman 1, we got to talk about Batman keys in general that have been making serious moves in the past few months. Let's talk about Detective Comics 359, the first appearance of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl, a CGC 9.8 sold for $132,000, which only had a previous high of $18,250. That's a 623% increase. A bunch of Batman villain love this week. We have a 9.4 Batman 171, the first appearance of the Riddler in the Silver Age, once going for $8,600. Now, a new 9.4 selling for $11,400. That's a 33% increase. Then we have Poison Ivy's first appearance in Batman 181. This had a previous high sale of $4,200. It's up 42% with its last sale at $6,200. Another Silver Age key, the first Scarecrow, Batman 189, a CGC 9.8 prior record being $15,000, up 42%, selling for $21,000 this week. Then we have another member of the Bat family, Batman 139, the first Batgirl in a CGC 9.4, which had a previous record of $5,900, is up 68%, selling at $9,900. And then we have one of the most classic Neil Adams Batman covers. We have Batman 227, a CGC 9.8, once hitting $13,000, up 140%, now selling for $31,200. That's an $18,000 price increase in this book. But let's talk about Batman 1, the reason why we're all here. Number 10 on the list, the first appearance of the Joker, the first appearance of the Cat, Selina Kyle, who later becomes Catwoman. We have a previous record sale in a CGC 9.2 that sold for $567,000 back in 2013. But Tom, you got to let them know, what did the 9.4 white pager sell for? It's a one of a kind, the highest graded copy of a 9.4 white pager to exist, selling for a staggering, jaw-dropping $2.2 million. Batman's got a lot going on. You got Robert Pattinson with the new Batman movie. You have Batman Beyond Rumors. But, I mean, this is the first appearance of the Joker in the highest grade ever. I think this thing was going to sell no matter what was going on in media. And now we're at the list at number nine with Star Wars, The Clone Wars, issue number one. The first appearance of Ahsoka Tano. And we're chatting the newsstand, but we are also chatting record breakers across the board. The newsstand hype for this comic is real, seeing a 44% increase in a 9.0, selling for once $900, going for $1,300. And it didn't just stop with the newsstand. The Dave Filoni variant also had a record breaker, once going for $1,925 in December for a CGC 9.4, now selling for a stunning $2,100. It broke the 2K. But that's not all. We have the direct market copy, a CGC 9.8, which prior record was set just weeks ago at $2,300, now selling for an all-new record of $2,400. With Sabine Wren and Captain Rex's inevitable introduction to the Star Wars mythos on Disney+, Plus, Ahsoka Tano bringing on Grand Admiral Thrawn, we know that Ezra Bridger is on his way soon. Great time to be investing in these Star Wars modern keys. Moving on over to number eight on the list, we have Fantastic Four 48, the first appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. It seems like week to week we're going back and forth between FF48 and FF49, which 49 is my favorite cover, by the way. But we have record-breaking sales in these first appearances, so let's take a look at them. We have a CGC 7.5 that had a previous sale of $3,500. It's up 11% selling at $3,900. 
Then we have the 8.0 with the prior record of 4,500. It's up 22%, selling at 5,500. $1,000 increase in this book. We also have some other keys that we can talk about, man. We have Silver Surfer number four, the iconic classic cover of Thor vs. Surfer. It's up 40% in a CGC 9.4, going from 3,700, now selling for 5,200. And lastly, the poor man's FF48, Silver Surfer 1, first solo ongoing series. It's up 21% from its previous high of $2,970, now selling for $3,600 in a CGC 8.5. And guys, this book is purely speculation. We know Fantastic Four is coming to the MCU. We still have no confirmation of Silver Surfer or Galactus, but fans are getting ready. Comic fam, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're here for you every single week talking about the heights of the market and the comics defining a generation of collectors. And let's take a look at number seven, which I believe last year, a comic character that did just that. We have Miles Morales' first appearance in Ultimate Fallout issue number four, The New Stand variant. This is a character and a book that couldn't stay off the list in 2020. Man, even his preview's first print appearance wouldn't stay off of this list. But it seems like it kind of winded down a little bit with all the Star Wars hype and everything else going on. But Miles Morales back on the list here at number seven. We know that we can all expect Miles to appear in Into the Spider-Verse 2, but many individuals were surprised to find out rumors that he was already slated, casted for a live action appearance possibly in his own solo movie only giving more reason to why members are actively hunting for miles keys even that preview appearance but we're chatting the newsstand today back in october we were shocked when the cgc 9.0 newsstand copy sold for 3500 we knew that if a cgc 9.6 or if that lone 9.8 hit the market it would definitely cross 10k and that 9.8 probably would cross 20 well here we have it man earlier this week we received word that a CGC 9.6 newsstand copy sold in a private transaction for $10,500. 500 more than we guessed. Clearing $10,000 at a 9.6 is crazy. I think you're right, Jem, because if you remember, in the summer of last year, we saw the only known copy known to exist of a 9.8 newsstand hit the market and it sold for $8,000. 20K seems absolutely feasible, especially if you look at the census count. There's a total of 2,400 graded at 9.8 of this standard A cover. The one in 25 Dejevic variant has a total of 138. Considering we've only discovered 50 total known newsstands to exist, four of them being graded at 9.6 and only one at 9.8, it makes sense why members are hunting for these scarce ghost key comics before he hits the screen again. Moving on to number six on the list, we're bringing it back to Fantastic Four with more Silver Age goodness. Talking about Fantastic Four, number five, the first appearance of everyone's favorite doctor, Victor Von Doom. We know that the first Marvel family is slated for the MCU, and we've been hearing nothing but rumors that the Black Panther antagonist may actually be Doctor Doom, which is only pushing more spec towards this Silver Age key. We're seeing a 7.5 once go for $13,000 back in 2018, up 31% selling for 17K. Impressive sales in the 7.5, but we have a CGC 9.2 that had a previous sale of $65,000. It's up 11% selling for 72K. Again, just like with Fantastic Four 48, no confirmation, just speculation and rumors that Doom has got to be coming. Moving on to number five on the list, we're going to stay in the Silver Age, but we're talking Amazing Spider-Man issue one, second appearance of Spider-Man, first appearance of the Chameleon, first meetup of Fantastic Four and Spider-Man. We got the first Jonah Jameson and one of my least favorite Amazing Spider-Man covers known to exist. All right, what do you think about this cover, Jim? It's funny you say that. I've never liked this cover, especially coming off the heels of Jack Kirby's AF-15. It kind of lets you know why Stan Lee pulled Steve Dicko off of AF-15. Spider-Man always felt a little awkward on this cover and the FF seemed a little out of place and he's like kind of trapped there in his first issue in his own title, but it doesn't matter because this is a major moment for the character, a major moment for Marvel Comics, and we have some record breakers to discuss. Let's start off with more of an entry level grade, a CGC 3.5, which had a previous sale of 7,300. It's up 16%, selling for 8,450, might not be so entry level anymore. 
and we're seeing an 8.0 once go for 48k up 4% now selling for a new record of $50,000. And this is a pretty big deal because this is one of those books, although a blue chip key, it's one that likes to go stagnant a little bit. We actually see this book be something that you can kind of get in on at a lower grade more often than others, especially considering the FF on the cover being largely unattainable right now in any grade. Yeah, you guys have heard me say this on the channel before, but kind of the poor man's AF-15. Absolutely. Comic fam, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about ASM1? Do you like the cover? Are we crazy? It'll enter you to win a giveaway today. We have a Wolverine number one in Hyuk Lee variant going out to a lucky member. And let's take a look at some Hasbro goodness. We have G.I. Joe issue number one, a real American hero. This is reminiscent of some of our 2020 videos, the 80s nostalgia bug coming to bite us all. This is the first appearance of every major player in G.I. Joe and making some moves back on the list again. Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes, Hawk, Grunt, Breaker, Rock and Roll, General Flag, Stalker. There are so many first appearances and this book surprised us last year because it's traditionally one that didn't see these types of gains. But I think this nostalgia cycle has come in full swing and we're seeing even more record breakers in the 9.8. A CGC 9.8 had a high sale in November of $1,225. It's up 18% with its most recent sale of $1,450. And you may think this is an outlier. You may be wondering why are these toy franchises continually outdoing themselves in record-breaking sales? Well, it didn't just happen once. It didn't just happen twice. It happened three times this week. Three record breakers in the all-time highest grade for this comic book. I think G.I. Joe, Transformers, Thundercats, TMNT. Keep up on all your comic books, comic fan, because they are moving quick. And we got to chat about number three on this list because X-Men is making moves. Just like with Fantastic Four, we know X-Men are coming. Feige confirmed it. We know about the $71 billion deal with Disney acquiring the rights from Fox. It's only a matter of time before we start getting casting rumors, which is really going to propel these books to the stratosphere. But collectors are trying to get in while they still can before these books get out of reach. Gem, for like half the year, we were waiting for this book, X-Men 1, the first appearance of the X-Men, to start to creep up on this list. We wanted to see record breakers, but it wasn't happening. And then we saw it move. And we need to take a look at the trajectory of this book over the last 18 years because it's stunning. The numbers show some significant gains, and I don't think the community is realizing where this book could go. Zoro, put the graph on the board for these guys so we can take a stroll down memory lane. Let's start back in 2002 to 2005, where this book was selling for only $4,500 in an 8.0. In 2006 to 2008, you could get this 8.0 for an adjustment of just $2,000 more. $6,500 is what this book went for for two years. It at 8.0. Like, let that sink in. That's crazy. Between 2009 and 2017, collectors started to wisen up a little bit. This book was starting to get the recognition it deserved, selling for around $12,000. Nearly doubling itself over that time frame. And then again, just a year later, between 2018 and 2019, the new records being broken, clearing 20K, 8.0s hitting $25,000. But Tom, that double up was nothing. Just this year, 2021, just this week from the Heritage Auction, we saw this book increase 68% from its previous record of 30K in 2019, selling at $50,400. Comic fam, we are officially in open enrollment for the February Mystery Mail Call. You can support our show and give us an excuse to send you comics every single month. Link in the description. We are sending everybody a copy of Davey Goes variant of Red Sonia, the superpowers issue number one. Look at our sword master looking so badass on this cover. We have 1,500 trade dresses and 1,000 virgin copies going out to our members. Hit the description, join the community, and support what we do. And let's chat about some TMNT goodness at number two. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one back on the list. You couldn't get this guy off the list just a few weeks ago, but there was a monster sale and a CGC 9.2 from the Heritage Auction that we got to talk about here. Just last November, the record sale for this book was $11,500. Well, that sale is long gone. We have a $28,800 sale from this last week's auction. 
Holy smokes, that's a huge jump, comic fam. However, how did we get to this point? Well, it was because of jaw-dropping records just this past December. A 9.4, once going for $17,000 in July, went for 36 k giving reason to this 9.2, although stunning, record breaker, it makes sense. And what's funny, when we've been reporting on TMNT all these weeks ago, we've always said no media hype, no movie news, no nothing. But TMNT on Twitter just recently announced that they're going to have a movie called Rise of the TMNT that's coming to Netflix. Comic fam, we are now at the list at number one, the hottest comic book in the world this week. And we talked over this last six months. So you got to be hitting the subscribe button because we told you a number of times that this next book was an underrated blue chip book. We told you repeatedly that it had unheard of sales for as quality of a key that this was, that the low census count, the printing counts, comparing them to the other blue chip keys from the Silver Age, that this had the most potential for gains, and it just shattered records at a 9.6. Jem, hit him with Daredevil, number one. I got to give a shout out to my boy X Illusionary Comics on Instagram. He texted me just last night and said, I know you and Tom are going to talk about this Daredevil 1 sale. You know we are. It made number one on the list. But before we talk about the monster sale, let's look at what Daredevil has been doing and how it got to this point. Well, let's take a look at the 9.4 back in December, breaking records up 4K, selling for $33,000. And even though the previous all-time high for a 9.6 was a modest 62,000 in 2010, that whole decade saw sales between 24 and 38k. But here we are, 2021 Heritage Auction, we got the big sale in that CGC 9.6 selling at $102,000. Holy smokes, comic fam, Daredevil, Matt Murdock just cleared 100K at a 9.6. Slap that like button, hit that subscribe button because these comics are moving so fast. These are some of the biggest records that we've ever chatted about. And you know we're going to be here next week to chat about the next ones. As always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Comic fam, we have two videos here. It's a big decision. Which one are you going to pick next? It could be this one. It could be this one. One of them may change your life. Your whole outlook may be just radically changed in a good way or a bad way. I don't know anymore. Have a great week.